Today, we are taking you to the seaside town of Ratatouille in Patagonia, Argentina. Ratatouille has the distinction of being the southernmost seaside resort in the country, and it also has one of the widest beaches we have ever seen. We visited on a day trip from the nearby city of Comodoro Rivadavia, so join us for a fun day of sunshine, long walks on the beach, and some hearty Patagonian dishes. guys. Good morning guys. Hello. Welcome to Ratatouille. Yeah. Ratatouille. Beautiful little town here located on the coast. What 20 or 30 kilometers from Comodoro Rivadavia? I'd say it's about a half hour's bus ride from the city of Comodoro Rivadavia. Yep. This town is right on the coast. It has a beautiful beach and since we have the full day here before we need to catch our bus to Rio Gallegos we thought let's take a little day trip. Day trip, we're gonna walk along the beach. There's incredible looking sushi. We've researched a couple of restaurants. Ooh, yes. So, I mean, instead of just like waiting around in the hotel in the lobby, yeah. stuck on our computers all day, we're gonna enjoy some sunshine, some good mm -hmm. food, and a really nice walk. So I'm super pumped about that. Um, we should talk about how we got here. So we took yes. a local bus. Yeah, so basically we went to the bus terminal in Comodoro Rivadavia, yeah. and there's a bus company called Ratatouille, name of the yeah, town, pretty it. easy. And you have to get one of those like reloadable magnetic bus cards. Yes. And I believe the journey was 55 pesos per person, which is less than a oh dollar. Oh gosh, that's an incredible yeah. fare. So yeah. yeah, we just loaded like, you know, four fares four there and fares. back for the two of us. Yeah, and when you walk into the bus terminal, it is, I think it's the furthest booth in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Depends which way you walk in, guys, but oh, it's true. a small terminal. True. You can't miss it. And there were two buses. I believe they were number 10s each. Mm -hmm. And the buses leave quite frequently. Yeah. Every 20 minutes, they go from Comodoro to Ratatouille. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. It's fantastic. And so that means we'll easily be able to get back into town to catch our bus, our overnight bus tonight. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a, an incredible way to spend the day. And yes. uh, let's get walking. To the beach. Well guys, welcome to the beach. Nice and windy here. Here we are. We actually arrived at high tide. So there isn't a lot of beach to walk on. It's kind of crazy. Like the waves have just kind of taken over the whole shore, but it's so cool to see. And I mean, the water is a beautiful color. It's like turquoise. It almost feels like you're in the Caribbean, but I'm sure if you were to dip a toe, you'd be like, oh, hello, Atlantic. That is not warm. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure, I'm sure. And such a nice breeze here, too. Yeah. Loving it. So refreshing. Oh, nothing like the, the, the breeze along a nice beach. And that salty air. just been walking along the waterfront here and let me tell you the homes are gorgeous and they look every single house is completely different from the next a completely different style and they are more like mansions let me tell you and yeah very distinct styles the one that really caught our attention well it looks like you could be in Santorini or in Turkey or in Bosnia and Herzegovina and this yeah. home would not look out of place basically it has blue domes yeah it looks like it has a minaret lots of arches the whole building is painted white yeah so it looks like they've taken inspiration just from different parts of that side of the world you know right. Greece Turkey kind of that area and it's incredible the reason you're looking over is because it's right there <laughs> wow yeah, yeah. Wow, I yeah. was not expecting this. Like, I knew Ratatouille was a nice seaside town, but it surprised me. Like, you can tell there's a lot of wealth here. People really look after their properties, their gardens, their home. Everything is just clean, immaculate. I mean, the beach is stunning. Like, you don't yeah. see garbage on the beach. No. It's just so beautiful. And I mean, we've only walked maybe two, three hundred meters. We yeah. still have a lot of coastline left to cover. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of wow factor here. For yeah. Sure. 
this for sure. This is so cool. I, if I had known about this place, I would have wanted to spend a few days just hanging out here, <laughs> having like a little beach vacation, you know? A beachcation. Seriously. What a nice surprise. <laughs> mentioned earlier, Ratatouille is considered the southernmost seaside resort, and it's pretty far south on the continent. The warmest the water ever gets here is about 17 degrees Celsius or 62 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's really not that warm. We visited quite early in the summer, so while we noticed a few brave kids running into the water, most people were just sunbathing. If you do visit, pack your swimsuit, but maybe also a windbreaker. guys, time for lunch. We're currently eating at a restaurant that is called Hashtag Inn. Very cool, on the beach. They do have sushi, but it turns out it's only in the evenings when this kind of turns into like a beach bar slash club. However, they have a very nice menu with Patagonian dishes. So I ordered the risotto with seafood. Sam is getting the Patagonian lamb with another risotto with wine, I believe. So it should be good. The bread has arrived fresh oh, out of the oven. Super good. With a garlicky mayo. Oh. It is delicious. Super delicious bread. Super delicious. Yeah. And we also got a Patagonian wine. This one is called La Poderosa. Yeah. We've had it before. It's yeah. very good. So cheers, my friends. Yeah, we're having authentic cheers. Patagonian food here in Patagonia. I got the creamy risotto with seafood and it has a little bit of everything. There's calamari, shrimp, mussels, scallops. Mm. So good. It's just really buttery and cheesy. You can see the strings of cheese there. Very rich. Just so nice. And we're eating it by the ocean. We're on the beach. And nice bottle of wine. Mm. Good music. Mm -hmm. What more do you want? Life. <laughs> it's like, this is paradise. When I ordered this dish, the waitress was like, the best selection, Yeah, basically. she was like, you're gonna be coming back to this restaurant. <laughs> this is a giant piece of lamb. And a, a very generous portion of, of what looks to be a creamy risotto, a cheesy risotto. Yeah, yours comes with saffron. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by the portion. And I can't wait to try this. We actually, we met a, we met a gentleman who was sitting outside and he told us that told us that the, the, the Cordero, the, the, the lamb, lamb here is the best. Mm. And so I'm incredibly excited to have this first bite. That's the best lamb I've ever had in my whole life. Really? Really. Ho -ho, big statement right there. It's like next level tender. The taste is off the charts and there's a really nice sort of sweet and savory sauce to go along with it. Ooh. It's just, oh my gosh. Today was, we're just killing time to <laughs> catch the bus. How do we get so lucky to come to such a beautiful destination and to have such nice food? Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's Let me turned out well. Try the risotto. Mmm. Mmm. Super cheesy. This is like, this is a top three meal on this entire trip that we've been on for over two months. So, mm -hmm. unbelievable food. I also like the look of those Un caramelized onions. Yeah. That garlic there, that it's, sauce. It's just unbelievable that we're having such good food right now. I'm, I'm blown away. Well, well. Blown away. Hashtag in is the name of the restaurant, guys. I mean, it, it's obviously the best location, maybe I don't know, maybe the best food too in town. Yeah, we thought we were coming for sushi, but this turned out to be a great surprise. Dessert has arrived. Because this restaurant has been so phenomenal and we're enjoying the sea breeze and the beach views, we're keeping the good times rolling. We've had chocolate volcan in, uh, in Argentina, but we've never had a dulce de leche chocolate mm -hmm. volcan. 
And so I'm gonna break this open and you're gonna see dulce de leche, a caramel sauce, oh ooze out. Watch this. Let's turn that around so I can watch it. You see? Oh, he destroyed it. Yeah. Okay, there wow. you have it. So, grab some ice cream, grab some cake with dulce de leche. Dulce de leche mm. volcano, here we go. Oh. Mm. How is this restaurant so, so everything is so delicious at this place. The dulce de leche is so warm that it's like a lava. It's amazing, it really is a volcano, it's like, it's a volcano. You break it open and then the, the, the dulce de leche lava is seeping out. It's just so good with the ice cream and the chocolate cake around the outside. Which is, if you haven't had this before, it's kind of like the consistency and taste of a brownie. If I lived here, I would be coming here very often. This is a great restaurant. doing a little beach combing. That's what it's called, right? <laughs> when you look for seashells. <laughs> this is sure. my mom's hobby whenever we travel to a beach destination. So I feel like I'm turning into her, but I'm looking for nice seashells for her. I found one like this. Let me tell you, I found a perfect, beautiful white seashell and I'm about to go grab it. And Sam's like walking around distracted and crack. He steps right on it broken in half and I'm like no it was pristine it was all white no spots no holes and he's just like la, la, la. oh my gosh stop complaining <laughs> like a giant stop complaining oh my god I didn't even see it <laughs> I know you didn't see it so distracted while I'm beach combing oh um, <laughs> well we thanks wanted... for that rant rant alert <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what about the price? The price of lunch. It was it was a pricey lunch, but it's a really nice restaurant on the beach. The food was amazing and we got a whole bottle of wine. Like lately we've been doing half bottles because yeah. it's like we don't need that much alcohol in the middle of the day. Well, we had a lot a we, we have a lot of time to kill and there was a there was a lot of food. I think we sat at that restaurant for like 2 hours, yeah. two and a half hours. At least so, three hours look at the time we've been sitting there eating and drinking for almost three for hours. three and so you think about it we had gourmet bread with yeah. with an amazing dip a full bottle of wine from patagonia two amazing mains and a delicious dessert to share yeah so 25 bucks per person it came to about three thousand pesos yeah. which right now is at the time of our visit 50 is us 50 dollars, US dollars. Yeah. 25 per person so not horrible but it yeah. is pricey for argentina you can eat well for a lot cheaper yeah. but it was a special that's the top three meal on the trip though yes and, and they have that's a show. i think that's a i can say that's the nicest location we've been yeah in terms of setting like being it's the only restaurant right on oh. on the beach like yeah. on the sand everything yeah. else is on the waterfront it is gore is gourmet food yeah and I feel like that's that's a meal that y y you won't forget anytime soon. No, so when not. in doubt, if, if you're looking to splurge a little bit, go there for sure. Uh -huh. Go there for sure. guys we've now been here in Ratatouille for a few hours we arrived when it was high tide now it's gone out and it's still continuing to go out and you would not believe the size of the beach it is so wide it is crazy such a huge transformation finished visiting the regional museum here in Radatili. It's small but it was very cool. 
Super so cool. it's mostly taxidermy of yes. like the local wildlife here in this area. Yeah. So we saw some pretty cool animals. Yeah. A giant sea lion. Yeah. I mean, when we did our whole peninsula. What was the bird? That tour, was the most impressive. The biggest albatross, wasn't it? Was it an albatross? Yeah, I think so. It was really cool seeing a sea lion because when we did our whole Peninsula Valdez tour, we saw them from a distance. But like here, you have it up close and personal. Sure, it's stuffed, but like you can really admire the size of it. Like that was pretty awesome. And yeah, there's old fossils. And admission, it's <laughs> the wind's blowing trash on Sam. <laughs> admission is 35 pesos. So, so 50 cents. At this time, 50 cents. How about Not 50, bad. 60 cents? Not yeah. Bad. Not bad at all. Worth a little visit. Exactly. And that was our day trip to Radatilly. We hope you enjoyed the visit and we'll see you on the next episode where we continue our journey even further south. Ta-ta!